All right, let's do some presents. Um, how this is going to work is that uh, the presenters get roughly two minutes to uh, show show their present. Um, you get to applause. Questions at the very very end if we have time. <laughs> so we're going to start uh, with Joachim. Who's going to talk about the 20th Century Press Archive? Thanks. I'm presenting the first part of a data donation by ZBW from the 20th Century Press Archive, which is to our best knowledge the largest public newspaper clippings archive in the world. It has been it has existed from 2008 to. 2000, uh, to, from 1908 to 2005, and it evaluated more than 1,500 periodicals from Germany and from uh, all over the world. The material was organized in folders, as you see here, uh, from a small corner from the person's archive, and uh, 25,000 folders with more than 2 million articles and uh, digitized pages are online now. The integration of the person's archive metadata to Wikidata uh, has been completed most recently, and all of the more than 5,000 person folders are accessible uh, from Wikidata now. More than 6,000 facts sourced from the person's archive's metadata has been added to Wikidata, and this uh, includes rather complex uh, relations like uh, uh, between persons and companies and their role in the company. The next big challenge uh, will be uh, the countries and categories archive with more than 9,000 folders, which is organized uh, by, yes, a hierarchy of countries and a hierarchy of, of categories. It's a whole system of uh, knowledge organization uh, about the whole world, materialized in newspaper clippings, and to map this in data is a challenge, so please consider to join the Wiki Project 20th Century Press Archive. Thank you, Jochen. All right. Lucas, the stage is yours. <laughs> Hello. I'm presenting two things, so I get four minutes. I've been told I've hacked the system. <laughs> so the first thing is on behalf of Wikimedia Germany, which is a uh, first version of Lua support for Lexemes. <laughs> So you can see some Lua code here, which is pro there's probably not enough time to read that, and I'm not a great Lua programmer anyway, but the result is down there. You have access to the lexemes, the uh, forms, the census, also statements, which are not in this screenshot, and it's not deployed anywhere yet, so that was just on my local <laughs> wiki. But we're hoping to get it at least to beta soon, probably to test Wikidata pretty soon afterwards, and then we will see where it goes, and it's a start at least. Thanks. And the second thing I'm demoing as a volunteer. So there's, I made this tool a while ago called Wikidata Image Positions. So if you have a statement on an item that it depicts something, for example, a painting could depict a person, you can add a qualifier there saying that this, where in the image this is. So um, like this person is in the upper left corner of the image or something. And that is now supporting structured data on comments as well. And if the presence page is open somewhere, no, not like that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Um, we can uh, change that. Yes, I'll read my emails. <laughs> so much unread video. <laughs> <laughs> that one. There you go. So, there it is. This is going to be a picture I took earlier this year, and there's already some structured data here that says this depicts 
uh, certain pride flags, and once this loads, I can define the region. There we go. And this also now uses the same library as crop tool uh, instead of my homegrown uh, bad thing, which I think Andy was asking for like uh, years ago, and now it's finally done. And I say use this region. It's adding a qualifier. Let's do the same thing over here. Just roughly drawn with the mouse. That should be good enough. And the third one. There we go. Use this region. And now if we check Lydia's contributions, except <laughs> on commons, media.org. She gave me permission to do this, by the way. Uh, user contributions. We can see some new qualifiers here. And if we load this, there's also a user script, which is hopefully working, which shows you these regions directly <laughs> on commons. So basically, the days of this old uh, annotations gadgets are numbered. <laughs> and that's it. I think we can skip like a dozen backup screenshots here now and <laughs> go to the next person. Thanks. Which one? This one? OK. So we have Alex in uploading boat. Uh, it's not developed by me, it's developed by Eluyar Foundation. Uh, and it's developed to upload Basque language lexemes with all its forms, because each lexeme has 65 forms. So it's not something we can do by hand easily. And also census. And you can download there. I don't even know how it works. <laughs> and all I know is that it's based in Wikidata Toolkit. So it's a subversion of that, and it's also in the GitHub of Wikidata, I think. That's it. Hello. I think I might have to reload this. Let me just make sure. Does it work? Yes, present. Great. Now, this is a project we've been working on for a while, but we are rolling it out for the first time to a big crowd here at Wikidatacon. And we'll show you some a real cool feature that we didn't tell you about earlier today. So this is a project called the Wiki Art Depiction Explorer. And this is an attempt to try to give an interface better than just editing a raw Wikidata item when it comes to adding depiction information for artwork. So this is a project that was funded by the Knight Foundation and Wikimedia DC and the Smithsonian, we work together on this project and with the amazing development skills of Edward Metz right here. So this is an example of what you will see and we invite you all to try it out. Art.wikidata.link is the URL. And the idea here is that you can see a large version of the picture and we will try to bring in whatever we can from the object page of the institution that holds this image. So we're bringing in some description information so that the person trying to add depiction information has some additional uh, readings that they can have here. We also bring in some keywords. And the great thing about this, when you start typing in the box, you are actually given matches against what has been previously matched in depiction um, statements. So this is a much tighter controlled vocabulary. Um, it gives you a much better direction on what to do. Um, so here's an example here. If this works correctly, we should be able to click that. and also make more edits on Lydia's behalf. <laughs> and we can go in here and type in ballet, and you will see that it doesn't match everything in Wikidata, but only things that are relevant based on previous depiction uh, statements. So I can say ballet dancer. I can go back in there and add these different, oops. Ooh, not sure why it's not working. Anyway, let me go ahead and make those edits. And then now that has been committed. Um, and you can actually start browsing other things. So the idea is to keep you in this universe of paintings and artworks, not just punch you back out to Wikidata. But we also have another bonus function that Edward is going to show you. So uh, this, uh, this painting, we've got date of birth and death uh, for this person. So the, we, we do a search, and these are all the people that uh, were born and died in those years. Uh, and so, 
Where were you? Aurora? <coughs> yep. Which so one did you it? see the match? I didn't see the match. Yeah, further down. Yeah. Maria Aurora. Oh, right, right there. there. So if I click so on that. So you click on that and then scroll down. And we go, oh, it's. <laughs> there you go. Add these to the painting. You, you need to highlight word matches from the title. That, it'll come. But, <laughs> so it's, it's worked. It's saved it to the painting. Right. So it'll match all humans with those birth date and the death date, and you can click that automatically. And that's it. So go ahead and try it. <laughs> oh. Those are just some stats. We, we had a whole bunch of people try it already today, and we upped this number today. So keep working at it. Thanks. Next one is Bruno. Hello, I'm Bruno from Google, and we are open sourcing what we call lexical mask. A little bit less sexier than the picture we just saw. Uh, it's config file that specify what a lexeme uh, needs to look like, what kind of form you expect in a lexeme, and what kind of feature you want on those forms. Uh, example here, it's a German noun that will have a gender uh, inherent and will have a couple of forms specified here with the couple of features you expect. Um, the, 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 the mask or the checks files that you see here will be uploaded to Wikidata so that I can help the Lexim community to check consistency and increase uh, the coverage. More detail on the talk I gave earlier today uh, in Lydia. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so in the past two years, I have had an hobby because I was not, let's say, very happy with the current uh, Sparkle implementation, especially BlazeGraph. So during my free time, I started a project I called Oxygraph. So it's basically like BlazeGraph, but different. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts getting in those states that works, so Sparkle query is fully implemented, but it's not been optimized yet. Currently, there is no optimization how the query is executed. And so as you see in this, small experiment with some Sparkle queries. The results seem fairly promising. And what is nice is that you rest to implement it and I managed to get the memory fo footprint fairly reasonable, although well less than BlizzGraph or Jena or the others. So I hope maybe in the future when I'm gonna get, or maybe other people could then miss more time to make it really working well, we could have something very good for at least smaller Wikibase instances with a few million or 10 of million triples. So the repository is here, so it's not working fairly well. So it's, it's a working progress, and if you want to test it or contribute, you are much welcome, because it's a big task. Thank you. Um, I was going to do a live demo, but it didn't go well earlier, so this is a video, which... <laughs> Wait, I can do this on my phone, right? <coughs> Access denied. Da, 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 da. <laughs> two minutes. Well, the video is two minutes long. We have two people here from Google. I'm sure they can Okay, we might just watch it in this tab. Come on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so I did a live demo and I thought that would go badly, but... Uh... So this is uh, something I've been working on ever since creating the Docker images two years ago, and this is a sort of shared platform website where you can go ahead and make an account. Da, 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 da. And then you've got a lovely button on the next page which allows you to create a wiki. There's lots of features missing at the moment, so you get to choose a wiki name, where it is, and a username at the moment. Um, but the possibilities are endless. And it goes and creates a wiki in a shared environment, um, saving on all of the expensive resources that we're all spending uh, running Wikibases. Uh, I recorded this just downstairs earlier, so this is like kind of real. I sped it up slightly, but. Uh, you get emailed your MediaWiki Temporary password, you can log in with the user account that you made. Da, 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 da. 
<laughs> then you have to change your password. This is where I just copy part of the URL in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then you're logged into your very own Wikibase that has quick statements, a query service, everything managed for you that you don't have to worry about. So you can go and create all of your items, use tools, and I plan on adding more tools in the future. All of the complexities are hidden. Uh, at the moment, this is, this is live on this wbstack.com domain name, uh, but you need an invitation code from me. If you want one to try one out during Wikidatacon, come and talk to me, and I will give you one. Uh, it's full of bugs at the moment and, and stuff, so don't rely on it. Um, yeah, this is quick statements working, and then on the Saturday of Wikidatacon, I'll delete all of the data, and then we'll be using this for the Wikibase workshops on Sunday, if any of you are attending. Um, and then it will get a real test. And so then you can see the two edits have happened. I'm so glad I didn't do this as a live demo. <laughs> and then uh, you go to the query service, you type in the query that shows you all of the triples. Even in the recording, you do it wrong. <laughs> and then you have all your triples. All right, how do I move forward? Uh, so, happy birthday, Wikidata. Um, I started on this last year, at, uh, actually for the Wiki site meeting, which was uh, about a year ago, and um, got something running, and, and uh, got a lot of encouragement from Daniel Meachin, who's probably watching online. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's, uh, he's given me all sorts of ideas for uh, improving it, and so uh, just in time for this meeting, I've got a new version out that uh, does more. So basically what this is, is a tool to uh, replace in, in um, mostly scientific articles, but any work really where there's an author, author name string, uh, replace that with an actual author item which is uh, pulled from Wikidata using some various things to match it up properly. Um, so changes are most recently, uh, you can log in with your Wikimedia user, user account and do the edits directly rather than Previously, it, it always went through quick statements, which I've got about a million quick statements edits now, but uh, <laughs> this is a little bit faster and, and uh, bypasses that. Um, another new thing is you can actually go in and look at a work and, and uh, update all of the authors on that work at once. If, uh, so there's a match button. You can also rearrange the author list if, if they're out of order, order or something. Um, there's also... Uh, Oh yeah, this is an example of what that looks like. So when you're matching up with authors, it, it lists uh, some, some information about their affiliation as it is in Wikidata. Um, the other thing that's new is uh, some automatic filtering. If you go to uh, the bottom of a page that, that is a search for an author name, um, you'll see links to co-authors, links to, other, to the topics they've written on, links to their journals, and so you can filter and narrow down the list, that you're, list of works that you're looking at to just those things that have those particular features in them. Anyway, that's what's new there, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, all. Um, <coughs> I'm uh, also from VMDE and a volunteer, but this is volunteer work. Um, it's a tool, Machtsin. A few of them might, of you might already seen it, um, but uh, I improved it uh, greatly in the last week. Um, so we have this Lexemes nowadays, and uh, on this Lexemes you should add the sense what the word means and all the different meanings a word can have. And we have a lot of lexemes now that still are missing uh, senses, uh, that ha don't have any sense. And <laughs> in uh, a lot of cases, uh, we also have items about the concept that this sense is about. And uh, so I thought we could mine the senses, and uh, this is what Mark Zinn uh, does. Uh, it shows you for 
and lexeme, in this case the English uh, word tune, which is a verb, uh, and possible meaning, in this case short instrumental piece, a melody, and you are asked, is this a uh, meaning for this word? And if you click the blue button, it will save it to Wikidata. And if you click the red button, it will uh, throw it away. And um, you log into uh, the tool with uh, your Wikidata account via OAuth. And a few people have already using it and added 6,000 uh, 6, census. And there are currently about 40,000 uh, census waiting to be uh, uh, considered and tested. And um, also for writing this, I had to first write uh, some uh, Python uh, tool to uh, modify uh, Lexemes because PyWikiBot and uh, the other uh, uh, common uh, tools don't support that. Yes, thanks. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Are you eating cake during my presentation? Okay, hi. so what to expect from a data scientist for a birthday than a dashboard, of course. Uh, uh, okay, so this time, uh, well, that's the end product. <laughs> okay, so this time something called Wikidata Languages Landscape. Uh, so it's, uh, this is a dashboard, as I said. So some of the uh, empirical findings that he presents from the Wikidata statistics were already surveyed today in uh, Lydia's uh, talks and uh, basically focuses on the structure and organization of languages in Wikidata, on the similarity of Wikidata languages in respect how they are reused across the, across the Wikimedia Foundation projects, right? And uh, it also combines some of the external resources with those statistics in order to provide for a comprehensive view of uh, how different languages cope in this uh, Wikimedia Wikimedia universe. So uh, uh, there's a link to the dashboard, so I was warned not to do this, but I will try. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so depending on the strength, yes, yes, <laughs> it can be done. <laughs> okay, so I will be even able to do a live demo, maybe. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's still computing, it's a very complicated service. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you will be able to see, okay, yes, all right, good. Well, uh, as I said, the data scientist, so this is not really informative, right, okay? So here you have all the languages, or most of languages in Wikidata, and we are focusing on those languages that were ever used anywhere in Wikimedia, okay? So we're talking about languages that actually have labels for things, that are mentioned in, in, uh, uh, across Wikipedia, Wikivoyage, and other projects, right? So, and this is the, uh, 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 only a subontology of languages. Like, so this depicts only the uh, instance of, subclass of, and part of relations, right? Uh, so that you can actually use probably these tools here to browse this thing. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but at least it's complete, right? Uh, one of the byproducts of this work is, uh, sorry, uh, not this thing, but this thing here. So this is a small visual browser that can help you uh, figure out what is wrong with the ontology of languages in Wikidata, and if you want to fix something, it makes it easier for you to find. Uh, so while working on this thing, I figured out that the language's ontology is particularly complex, really complicated, okay? And then there are some inconsistencies there, for example, uh, well, at least in my intuitive understanding of semantics, you cannot be at the same time a part of something and a subclass of something. I mean, you can, and Wikidata is really flexible enough to allow you for that, but probably some things need fixing in that respect. And here, for example, you can find the language, say, for example, Serbo-Croatian, that used to be my native language before it uh, fall apart into Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, etc. Okay, and here you have all the relations like P31, part of, subclass of, differently marked. So if anything needs to be fixed, Instead of browsing the whole, uh, the whole uh, structure of the whole ontology, you can go here and just uh, make it shorter, right? And then things like clustering the languages. Many people like this on Twitter. It actually cost me uh, half of my life to produce this thing. <laughs> okay, it's huge. So uh, yeah, visit the dashboard. Go play many interesting things. Uh, thank you.
very much. Yeah. So, because this is uh, this present is about uh, is called Wikisafe, and this is something that we have been working the Safe Expressions Community Group, and the idea of Wikisafe is uh, is that we, we want uh, to have like the Wikidata query service, which is I think something that you are uh, most of you are using to do Sparkle queries, but now we want to do the same thing, but for safe expressions. So we want uh, an editor which is as easy to do and, and to work with it as it is with uh, Wikidata Wiki Wiki Query Service. That's uh, what we are going to, uh, that's the goal of Wikisafe. So you have uh, safe expressions editor and validator. You also have uh, syntax highlighting, auto-completion, uh, schema visualization, and search. So this is just a screen. Um, well, this is, I could click on that, but I prefer not to do that. Uh, uh, you can have about a schema, you can have uh, some information about the schema, you can visualize the schema. Uh, this is, you can autocomplete, uh, for example, just start writing work and it finds the schemas for that. Then uh, you also have the editor, and you, as you can see, this is for written work. You can have the, this uh, editor of the uh, schema of the safe expression. Uh, if you hover with the mouse, uh, it send, it uh, highlights the the name of the the label of the property, which is the same as the Wikidata query service. So the, the goal is that uh, now that you have uh, safe expressions, that uh, the goal is that you are using safe expressions to validate your data to increase the quality of the Wikidata. Uh, uh, data uh, using safe expressions. Uh, and also, uh, you also can uh, visualize the schemas. Once you have a schema, for example, for written work, the author, whatever, you can visualize and, and all that. So that's the, the goal of Wikisafe. I love Wikidata. I'm very proud of the work I do and my friends do on Wikidata. And I know most of you are pleased to work on Wikidata as well. It's come to my attention over the last couple of days that a couple of you are working on a rival product and undermining what happens on Wikidata. This product apparently is called Wikidata. <laughs> I've, I've never heard of this Wikidata before. So in order to get things correct, because some of you are doing it wrong, if I can find the mouse pointer, how do I open this? There we go. We have here. You probably can't hear that. It's very, very quiet. Let me do that again. Oh, yep, I've got you. You're not going to hear this anyway. So there it is for the record. But thank you. Joking aside, if those of you who do have speech impediments would like to make a version of your pronunciation, then please feel free. Thank you. So I thought I, was, uh, I had the laziest present, but then Andy beat me to it. <laughs> so, uh, because I literally made this present an hour ago. Um, so some of you might know uh, VisQuery, which is a tool I made to visually query Wikidata. Um, and then I saw this, this tweet from Martin uh, just an hour ago saying, hey, there's a preview of the common query search. So I thought, what would happen if I would just changed my Sparkle endpoint and my tool to the beta comments Sparkle endpoint um, and just add it to my tool. Of course, now we need to wait for the Wi-Fi. I should have made a video, but of course, given that I just had an hour, oh, here we are. So for those of you who don't know VisQuery, you, uh, it allows you to do things like, hey, say, depicts and say, it depicts a cat. 
And so what you get are all the wiki data items that depict a cat with pictures. However, what you can do now is you go all the way down and there's a link saying use the Wikimedia Commons Parker endpoint experimental. And now when I say depicts a cat, you will actually get Commons images of cats. So let's say we want a cat that actually shows its whiskers. Now we're gonna get, that's it. So, well, thank you. An hour ago, well, <laughs> that was 10 minutes ago. Um, so, some time ago, I did this to Adobe Wikimedia hackathon in Prague called Integrality, making dashboards of uh, property coverage. And I introduced to you the service pack update, uh, 2019. <laughs> so this is Integrality, so you haven't seen it yet. Um, it makes things like this. Oh, it's cute. Oh, oh paintings and their columns of properties and um, uh, lines or different groupings, um, so how to slice and dice the data. And I bring you a couple of improvements that are going to be live demoed. Um, so some people wanted to be able to query for qualifiers because some properties are not top level. So if we do this, <laughs> and <laughs> also some people wanted to display images, which is like, oh, it's not the greatest display. <laughs> All right, loading, it's supposed to be fast. It's supposed to be fast. <laughs> I know it works because I already did it. So, uh, yes, updated page. Yeah, and that works, now the street number, that worked. Pictures, maybe you're gonna make it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I have it in the history if you really want to see if it really works. <laughs> yeah, yep, that worked. Yeah, also works with images. So there were two feature requests, but they were not the worst, and this one was literally done. Oh, what, what could be that link here? I wonder. Uh, okay, no, no, not, not this one's going to be too big. Um, let's go for, uh, yeah, this is going to be fine. Yeah, the reason why I spent my entire time at the conference doing this is because I spent the last three weeks writing tests for all the code that I wrote in, in Prague. And it's like, oh, so what could these links be? Yeah, these are the items that have the property, and if you go to the other one, there are the items that don't have the property. So you can actually make this uh, uh, dashboard completely blue if you spend enough time. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a service pack update. We are at the end of the slides. Now we're taking the people who didn't give me slides. <laughs> All right, who would that be? I know one. <laughs> are there other people? I, I, I added something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Two, okay. All right, I'm here, you go. <laughs> um, hello, so, sorry for a late minute uh, presentation. One reason is that uh, the dashboard was broken, so but we'd be able to fix it. Um, so lots of to use Wikidata, and you see sometimes it's a little bit slow when you want to load a page, especially when the item is, is very, very big. So in the last month, uh, <clears throat> several people at Wikimedia Deutschland, uh, like uh, Rosalie, Jakob, and me, uh, started to working on and improve the performance of Wikidata. Uh, so now we have something to show it, for, show it to you. So I will go to w.wiki. Um, a uh, no, 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 base slash a German keyboard. Um, ah, <coughs> shift seven. No? Ah, okay. And you go to, so this is called Speed index. Uh, this is a speed index of uh, item of uh, Berlin, uh, and you see in the past 40 months went from 90, uh, which uh, defined uh, as. Let me read it out loud. The speed index is the average time of uh, which visible parts of a page are displayed. 
uh, it's expressed in milliseconds and uh, depends on the size of it. So it used to be around one second for item of Berlin. Now it's around uh, 800 milliseconds. And this happens not just on item of Berlin, but all and not just on all items, plus all images and comments. All of them got better uh, for 200 milliseconds. Hi everyone. Um, so you may remember from a previous presentation the Hub, uh, which is a tool to uh, browse the web uh, with URLs going through Wikidata as the Hub. So you could do things like going from uh, VIAF identifier to uh, some other identifier. I don't remember what P9193 is, but yeah, Gutenberg. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Yeah, if you know those identifiers, you can go from somewhere to somewhere else and, well, do different things. Go from, like, you can resolve a uh, Twitter username uh, on uh, Wikidata and get redirected to the closest Wikipedia article. But not that, pe that, not that many people use URLs to uh, uh, browse the web, so I thought if people don't come to the tools, the tools come to them. And so I did a little script. Um, that you will find there at um, um, this um, on Meta, which basically takes uh, the uh, identifiers uh, from the um, hub to bring them to your Wikipedia article. So if you add the gadgets, you will be uh, you will have a page that will instead of having just those few things on the sidebar, because it's not enough to browse the web. <laughs> you will have a collection of <laughs> additional links <laughs> to all over the web. And so here you will find, for example, uh, so this is the page for Berlin. And you will have, uh, for example, Berlin on uh, OpenStreetMap, Berlin on Cora, Berlin on Swedish MBTAR forum, <laughs> anything. And so all those uh, convenience link added to every pages that can be resolved to a Wikidata identifier. Thank you. So I didn't understood at the beginning quite much the format of this thing. So I just smuggled inside uh, and I will try to improvise a lot. So, <clears throat> no, it's loading, okay, so uh, yeah, it's maybe only a bit slow, so uh, I mean, there is a lot of data in Wikipedia that, uh, so a lot of text which contains in fact information that you could add to Wikidata but it's sometimes uh, difficult to find or uh, difficult to import. So what we did is we, uh, we used a uh, latest machine learning algorithm to given a class, for example, newspapers, check which are the newspapers, um, so the, pro the most used properties for newspapers, like the owner, the publication date, the language, and uh, we are going to the corresponding, if the date, if the statement is missing in uh, the, the Wikidata item, we are going to the Wikipedia page and we are searching automatically for uh, this uh, missing statement. And we are proposing to the user a new fact. So the user has just to say yes or no to this new fact and import it to uh, Wikidata. So unfortunately this uh, web page is too big. Uh, to load, or the internet connection is too slow, so I'm sorry for that. But uh, we will uh, make a tweet soon and uh, launch this tool, and I think it would be uh, a very good tool to very quickly add a lot of statements in Wikidata about entities that uh, you are not even aware of. Okay, thank you very much, and sorry for the delay. Uh, 
Uh, how do I get back to the page? Yes. So one thing that I did earlier this year to um, support the uh, revamp of Wikilovers Monuments in Brazil, which um, was the most successful Wikilovers Monuments that's happened in Brazil, well done, Joe and all, is create this little box here. So this is pulling information from Wikidata. It's replacing the old style monument IDs on, um, com on Commons, which is all static. So it pulls everything from Wikidata, multilingual, of course. Um, you need to define the QID in this case. But one thing that changed today, thank you very much um, to the Structured Data on Commons team, is they've enabled Lua access to structured data on Commons. Yeah. Finally, which is fantastic. So now what you can do is you can say this picture of telescopes, sorry I like telescopes, um, has Mark II telescope and Lovell telescope in the UK. And if you go to the file information and edit the page, you will see that that, sorry you probably can't see it so easily, you just need to do monument ID slash SDC and you get that information automatically through the structured data on Commons. I think this is the first template that I can actually do this, so, um, because it's only become available today. So thank you very much to Structured Data on Commons. Do we have anyone else who would like to present something? If not, then thank you so much. Those were awesome presents. Thank you so much for putting all the time into them. They're really great. <laughs>